All right, folks, it's time for another special edition of Starbase Summary. We have not just one, but two commentators today. How's it going, D? It's going really well. How are you? Well, I'm watching some uh, sheet piles be driven into the ground there for megabay, or the gigabay construction, I guess. There's some uh, parts being moved in. What do, that's a booster 18 section moving into megabay one, second to last for the LOX tank. That's exciting. That's exciting. They're making some solid progress here. You just see like stuff uh, moving in. One day we won't be able to see that anymore because the gigabay will be in the way. What is that? Booster 18 stacking? Oh. All right. Distant view from down by the launch site. Yeah, that's a, that's from Highway, and it's looking over the, the factory there so we can see into the background. Here's some welding work. This is all the way out at pad one. I guess we're going with pad one. I, pad A? Pad one. Pad east. Pad alpha. <laughs> <laughs> there is the uh, pile driver loading onto the low boy trailer and hooking up to the oversized load truck. Oh, very patriotic. What a design. <laughs> Does it say something? I can't read what it says. It's the name of the company. Something Hammer and Steel. Hammer and Steel. Wow. Huh. I, I'm, I'm feeling very inspired by the paint job <laughs> on the side of that pile driver. Uh, getting some shots of Rio West. This is the mixed-use development. Still remains to be seen if it's going to be open to the public over between Prodsite and Massey's. We could definitely use some uh, accommodations, food, and the like in the area, that's for sure. Just please not a subway. We're please. so sick of subway right now. We've had so much subway this week. We don't need any subway. <laughs> oh, look at that, all the flags. Uh, we're on the road this week. Dee and I went out to support the International Rocket Engineering Competition, high-powered student rocketry in West Texas. Oh, there's a Starlink on a little trailer in the background. Solar panels and a Starlink. Uh, but that's how Dee and I are both on commentary because we are in West Texas. We're in Pecos, Texas right now. Slightly more dusty than you see in this shot. Only of, slightly? <laughs> Pecos, Texas is made of dust. <laughs> Starbase has no dust compared to Pecos, Texas. Starbase has sand. Uh, but we came out here to support uh, live streaming, spool up some of our Starbase robotics cameras to enhance the views of the students' rocket launch competition, or their students' rocket launching out here at uh, the West Texas spaceport with Ezra, the Experimental, rocket, uh, Experimental Sounding Rocket Association. Yeah, so operators have been able to get a ton of practice getting their hands on on the camera, getting to the launches in a very fast pace. We have like sometimes five seconds before a launch happens when we know that what the pad is. Yep. And there's the production site. Uh, what, what we're doing to like expand on what D was saying, we're practicing here, right? We have remote operators that run our PTZ cameras and Starship's launch frequently but they don't launch all the time so we brought out some of our equipment to the student rocket launch competition so our team could practice communication control of the rockets or control of the rockets control of the cameras uh, just talking to each other coordinating things all that sort of stuff out here there's booster 16 in mega bay one it looks like got some grid fins on top of it nice little shot through the fence there oh what is this uh, that could be for the tile bakery. That's it's an expansion they've added on the backside of the Star Factory. Interesting. Quick little road time lapse of the launch site here. Ah, yes. That's going to be so convenient for anyone with bikes out there, electric skateboards and the like, to be able to get down to the launch site without a car or walking on the road or dirt. Oh, oh look my at gosh. that! <laughs> That's a whole bunch of ducklings following, like, Mama Duck down the side of the road there. Getting the important shots here, Caesar. Quick. Thank you. If you, can get, if you can get under the bollards, you're under the wildlife refuge. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on the sidewalk construction over there. Um, we know they have lots of bikes, some of the tricycles, like Johnson Space Center, Kennedy Space Center-inspired bike path or, or biking around engineers and stuff like that. So the bike paths will be very useful. Got some more. Jack, oh, this is actually Jack getting the nature shot here. They still haven't taken off the stack me sign. How long are they gonna leave that up? Maybe once it, maybe <laughs> once like everything's done and they're ready to launch? Yeah, but I mean, technically it's stacked right now. So if they're waiting for another stack, maybe it comes off when there's the first rocket stack. That would be cool. Full stack means no more stack me sign. No more stack me signs. 
Yes. Was that a Valentine's Day reference? It looks like a little Valentine's Day candy, but I don't actually remember. That, that came from the cape, I know. I, I think it is one of the, like, Candy Hearts references, for sure. Yeah. Miscellaneous work. Climbing up the scaffolding ladder here. Got the flapping... I don't know, that's probably for shade. It's flapping so much. This one on the corner looks like it's for uh, wind mitigation. That is a lot of cabling. And heat blankets. Where are the heat blankets? Used to warm thick segments before welding. Warm? Why do they need to warm the segments? Well, they're... we talk about stress fractures from engines. I wouldn't oh. be surprised if they're warming it up to either make the, the, the welding flow better or to prevent any sort of yeah. stress fractures as they're doing that sort of thing. Look at that. That is really interesting. Down in the comments. All right, there are going to be welders. Yeah, we're not welders. I'm like, Starbase is already warm. Why would you need to warm the steel up? But if you need to get it above ambient, even if ambient is 90 to 100 degrees, um, let me know down in the comments if you're a welder who has experience with stuff like that. That's really cool. It's just GSE connection area. <laughs> Here's where the GSE magic happens, I guess. That's going to be an exciting area to watch as a... Uh eventually a rocket gets on there but ooh, is there are we seeing some like pipes and stuff back in there yeah i can't get over all those cables like are those cables for tools they're using or are those cables that they're like stringing into conduit or something and they've got it out of the conduit and they're sort of pulling it through i really do wonder what that is it's like spider webs it's more like the spiders they gave lsd to though <laughs> <laughs> I like, wouldn't want to be untangling those t cables, that's does, for sure. Doesn't exactly say, like, some pig or some rocket or something on it. Um, what are we doing here? We're pulling a wire. We're grinding in the background. We got some sparks. How many of y'all saw the slow motion spark? Did you ever see the slow motion spark video? I did. Slow motion sparks are cool. He just used the grinder to cut something. Wait, what it Okay. I want to see that again. <laughs> Thank you, Day Shielding. We're not allowed to scroll back, but y'all scroll back. The, the one worker turned to the other worker, and the worker used the, the cutting wheel or the grinding wheel to cut something, and I could not see what that was. Was it like a cable? He couldn't cut the cable, and he turned, and the guy cut it with the grinder? While holding it? I, I, I mean, yeah, you know. <laughs> they had on safety glasses, gloves. Good trust there. You know, <laughs> you got to trust your fellow workers. All right, pad two's chopsticks here. Got some scaffolding going up, you think, D? Are they attaching this? It looks like they're bringing out new pieces to the scaffolding there, and I love these shots because it really gives scale to just how massive these chopsticks are. And, and these are the shorty chopsticks. Yeah. These are like the pad two. I'll try. I'm trying. I really am trying. Uh, the sh much shorter chopsticks because they don't need that big uh, inertia when the chopsticks are moving. So I wonder what do they need to get down the side? Maybe there's the ch look how look how clean and new it looks. Well, it's not going to look that way for long. <laughs> Hopefully, I'd love to see a launch from Pad Two sooner rather than later. Look at this, no scorching on the tower. Is it? It looks rusty though. Well, Parts of it look rusty already. Those are the the guide rails for the skates, the yeah. chopstick skates. The roof, the blast shielding on the draw works. I think it should get more credit than roof. That's the back side of the tower away from the rocket with all of the big cable spools inside uh, that carry the cable, or I guess spool up the cable that carries the chopsticks up and down the tower. This dude, like, hanging out. There's a hose. It looks like wound metal there. That yeah. looks like a lightning... Uh, a resting cable or something that looked like a grounding cable or something huh maybe not i don't know but that was my first impression like hopper in the background there hoppy hoppy oh, are you correcting me in in my own commentary I, are you correcting me to hoppy <laughs> I, I i feel like hoppy is the more affectionate name to go with here <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it okay we're good <laughs> Look, they're unspooling a cable. We have a team effort. We were doing this yesterday with a uh, kilometer of fiber cable we used for the student rocket launch competition. We had a similar setup going, cable, putting that back together. That's flag day. Wasn't yesterday flag day or something? That's I don't shot. know, actually. Yeah. Look, there's a couple flags. 
There's the trees up the uh, Remedios Road. We'll see how long those trees last. You gotta water them out there. Had the SpaceX logo in the previous shot. And a dump truck. I wonder when they added the traffic director out there. Like somebody with the yellow, the orange baton waving the dump trucks around. And I love, I love this. The time lapse of all of the excavators like moving around like insects doing their work. This isn't a super fast time lapse. The people aren't running back and forth. What do you think? That's like two or three X speed? Yeah, not, not too crazy. Yeah. We've been looking at these through the fence. Uh, possible booster quick disconnect parts. You can see some places where they pivot and they've actually protected those holes with some, it looks like speed tape, it looks like metalized tape or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Same stuff they use on airplanes. Yep, maybe they're gonna put a bearing or something in there and so they need to protect that from fod or probably not damage or something, but uh, there's the Starlink building. How many Starlinks is that in the foreground? <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, pause it, <laughs> pause it and count. We've, we've got, yeah, there's, there's, look, one, two, those are all solar powered trailers with Starlinks on top. Those are little mobile Starlink uplink stations. And look at the amount of power you have to field to keep a Starlink running. It takes the entire trailer with the solar power if you want that Starlink to stay online. We've been dealing with that a lot. Yep. Vaporizers are the horizontal. There you go. There's an enhance. Uh, those look like they're probably stored right now. They're just parked back there. I don't think those vaporizers are in use. But we see a lot of those in the GSE out at the actual launch site. This is the rocket garden. There's Pad 2's water de... How do you say deluge? 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 De Anyways. <laughs> deluge. This, look, D. This looks like the students' GSE at the hybrid pads. It really does. That's what the students are building to manage the filling of their hybrid rockets. It looks almost exactly like that. Okay, that's cool. SpaceX actually sponsored the event. Yeah, and Blue Origin, too. <clears throat> they were a, a late-breaking sponsor of the student rocket launch event out here, but some uh, industrial-grade Starlink showed up so that we could uh, do our video uplink to send uh, the produced stream over. So massive thanks to SpaceX for supporting the students' uh, work out here because you know that some of the students are going to get hired at SpaceX. There's the water manifold for Pad 2. Neat. That'll gas canister in the front and, and a sunset i know you always got to end with a nice little of beauty course. shot hey folks i know we talked about uh, our experience out here in the field drawing likenesses to what uh, work is happening out there at starbase but the students at the student rocket launch competitions are the ones that get hired to go out there and build this stuff so supporting them in their endeavors as students helps us get our way to mars but for now my name's john with me has been d d thanks so much for joining us of course this was fun this is this is the first dual commentary one thomas i'm sorry for the extended cut here at the end put some more video in or something and we will see you nerds later thanks for watching